Hey guys, I'm Bobby. And I'm Brent. And today on Learning, we're going to show you how to do a silhouette effect. Like this. Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> so what's going on guys? It is a hey, beautiful yeah. Thursday. The uh, sun is out. sun is out. What are we learning today? Alright, so we're going to change the format just slightly today. What's going to happen is, is Bobby is going to teach me on video how to do this effect. And basically what we're going to do, we're going to do another green screen tutorial today, but this time, rather than taking the background out, well, I guess we might be taking the background out too. What yeah. we're going to also be doing is creating a silhouette effect. Ooh, that basically. sounds fun. Yeah, it should be fun. I'm very excited to learn how to do it. Uh, this kind of is reminiscent of those old Apple commercials. Oh yeah, remember the you, iPod. You got the iPod dancing. And people would dance and you could see the silhouette. And so mm -hmm. we're going to basically show you how to do that effect. So cool. let's uh, let's get started. Absolutely. Lead the way, Bobby. What am I doing first? All right. So what you're going to do first is you're going to take our video, which we have there. Okay, this one here. And we're going to drag it right into the project folder. Cool. In After Effects. Cool. So this is going to be another After Effects tutorial today. Yeah, we're going to, we're taking a little break from Premiere. Yes. No offense, Premiere. We love you, but. Yes, we, we just a need a little, we need some space, Premiere. It's, it's that time. <laughs> exactly. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drag our video into the timeline. Cool. So there you go. Boom, there it is. There so now, we are. Here we have a video of me and Brent, and we're just dancing. We're just hanging out in front of a green screen. What we're going to do is we're going to select our effects up at the top. Okay. And we're going to search key light, and you're going to select key light 1.2, and you're going to drag it onto our video here. So you can either drag it onto the timeline or onto the video itself, but I usually go into the timeline because it cool. keeps it more simple. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create the green screen effect. Now, Brent, do you remember how to do this? Yeah, I remember pretty much how this works. First thing we do is we use our little eyedropper tool here, try to find the most consistent looking green in the background. As we said in the last video, this green screen that we set up was a little lackluster. We kind of just threw yeah. it up there, didn't really light it perfectly or even get some of the crinkles out of it. But yeah. we can still get a pretty good effect despite our laziness. Yeah, so. we're pretty lazy. I really, I really <laughs> wish we had like tried for more than a minute to, to light it better, but yeah. we've got a good system going now. We've got some other videos we've been working on. Yeah, so but anyway, yeah. so we're going to use our little eyedropper. We're going to grab the green. Something here looks pretty good. You can see it got rid of a decent portion. There's still some stuff we need to do. I know we can go into our screen gain here. If we turn that up a bit, that's going to remove more of that background for us. Yes, that's looking really good. I can also go onto this screen mat uh, pull down here and adjust a couple things here like the clip black and the clip white. So if I adjust some of those, maybe turn the clip white down a little bit. So now basically we've created the screen screen effect and mm -hmm. if you want to learn more about that in depth, we have another video yes. right here that you can click on. Right there. And See uh, it? <laughs> if you want to learn more about that, we got a whole video that goes in depth about it. But yes. right now we're going to keep it simple. Okay. So what we're going to do now is you're going to go up to the effects tab up at the top of the screen. Okay. And you're going to go down to color correction. Oh, okay, color correction. Should be about yep, right here. A quarter down. And now you're going to go over to curves, curves, which is about halfway down. Oh, yeah, there it is. There you go. So now click curves. So what that does is, oh, oh, oh no, the dreaded zoom. Oh, jeez, okay. it's so complicated. Right, let me yeah, just use go that. to fit. Okay, there we go. So complicated. Yeah, if you ever do that by accident, over down here, there's the fit button. That can be helpful just to get your screen yeah. back to a optimal size in case you actually do what I just did there and zoomed in when you didn't want it. Cool. So we got so, our curves in here. Yeah, so what, now is what this do I do? Right here. This is a curves grid. Okay. And what it does is it shows a linear representation of the RGB color curves. Oh, okay, RGB. So gotcha. that's red, green, and blue. Yeah. And now you can go in and you can adjust the red, you can go in and adjust the green, okay, the yeah. blue, and the alpha. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stick to RGB. Okay. Because what are we doing today? We are basically going to take the shapes that we have keyed out from the green screen and we're gonna turn them into a silhouette. Okay. So cool. the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is actually, let's go down to the timeline and yeah. you're gonna grab the open gray spot right there and you're going to right click and we're gonna create a new solid. All right. And then you're going to go down to the color. You're going to click on that and select white. 
Now this could be any color you want. It's just white's the easiest in terms of um, being able to see the silhouette. So sure. now you're gonna click uh, OK. All right. So that just created a solid layer. All right. And you're going to drag the solid and you're going to bring it below nice. the video. So there we go. Now we can see sort of the shapes that, that we've created with our green screen key cool. light. So now we're going to select on the video again. And up in the effects, uh, we're going to go to our, sorry, uh, no, on the left. Oh. My bad. Oh, so no. up in our. <laughs> How did, oh, it's ruins. <laughs> We're frauds. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> so, <laughs> in the effects on the left, we're yep. going to select the very top of our little linear uh, yep. line right there. Yep. Now, do you see that little kind of uh, node up there? Oh yeah, yeah. There's a little. It's almost like a little square up it's top. A little square. So what you can do is you can select that square, and you're going to drag it all the way to the bottom. Oh. Wow. Would you look at that? Wow. That pretty much did it all together there. So it did, it, it created our silhouette. Maybe. So this is what happens. You, you know, you do an effect, uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But in this case, we just realized that there's a little problem. As you can see, Brent's face is a little bit gray. And first what we're gonna do is actually shut off our RGB curves okay. by clicking the little effects logo right FX, down there. X, boom, gone. There, so what that does is it shuts off our uh, silhouette effect because we need to adjust this. Mm -hmm. So go into the key light effect and we're gonna gr grab final result. Okay. And we're gonna scroll down to screen mat. All right. So what this does is it shows a, um, that's my dad. Go away that's dad. Weird. Go away dad. Come on dad. Dad. <laughs> what we have to do basically is get rid of all the gray that we see because as okay. you can tell the gray is basically what was messing up our silhouette effect. Okay. So to do that, we're gonna grab clip white. Okay. And we're gonna drag that down. Oh, so yeah. that is getting rid of those spots. Now, we've encountered another little issue. Some parts of our green screen due to our terrible job of lighting. Because <laughs> we're bad directors. And stretching the green screen <laughs> has created this issue. Now you're probably gonna have this issue too. So my solution to this is uh, creating a mask. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back up to the screen mat and we're gonna change it back to final result. Okay, final result. So you right. can still you can see, see that. You can see that a little bit of green screen there, yep. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to go up to the pen tool, which is on the top of our yep. tab right there. And all you have to do is create a shape uh, within the confines of the video so that the green screen is on the outside of the shape. So we're masking it basically. We're kind of tracing ourselves. Okay. So just click the pen tool yep. and sort of just create a shape around us. Okay, so we've created our mask and that sort of got rid of that little green screen flub. Oh yeah, I see it's gone now. It's cool. completely gone. So we're going to go back into our effects on the left Yep. And we're going to turn back on the RGB curves. FX on. Bam, and there you go. Woo! We have a silhouette. Now, why don't you drag through the timeline and, and show what it looks like. We're dancing, we're having fun. Now, our mask cut off a bit of our uh, green screen, so we can actually adjust that if we want to. All you have to do is, is click. Click on grab. one of our little nodies here, a little node abodes. Node abode. I don't know what that means, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but we can drag that out a bit. Yeah. Kind of give us some, some space to move. I don't want to hold back our dance moves in any way. All right, guys. Well, that was how to create a silhouette effect on After Effects. Oh, yeah. Learning with Bobby and Brent. Jeez. Oh, Bobby. Hey guys. Thanks for watching this episode of Learning. We're uh, dancing as usual. I'm sure you're not sick of this yet. Yeah. This song is, is just too good to get sick of. I, I don't think we get sick of it. For a moment I thought I was gonna get sick of it, but now I feel pretty good about it. Yeah, me too. Earlier you were pretty angry. Yeah, I was doing some like, I was doing some like Street Fighter moves, like some Hadoukens and some uh, yeah. Some scissor kicks and stuff. I had the back off. He was getting a little bit riled up there. Like, <laughs> subscribe, Patreon. Yes. Now you know. Now you know. Pretty so, sure the song might have ended already.